Divine Father, we worship and bless your name. We give glory, honor, and adoration to your majesty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Let your name be praised, Lord. Let your name be magnified, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Briefly, we are going to listen to me. God depend on you for the unity of the church. You can sit down. May God depend on you for the unity of the church. God created you for his own glory. He created you for his own use. He created you for his own vision. That you live and do according to his own vision. To his own will. That is the reason why he created you. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5 The Bible tells us from verse 13 to verse 16 Ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt have lost its savour where we shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden on the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it give a light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven there are two products here that god created number one is salt number two is light and they have their own function you are the another creature of god and you have your own function here he says salt what is the purpose of the salt is to serve all, to season to season, to bring tests, to thing, serve it, preserve it, bring tests, make it palatable, make it acceptable to the tongue, make it a blessing to humanity. Salt has so many uses, but salt can lose its savour and become useless. A creature can lose its benefit in the hand of God and become useless. That's what you need to know. You were made for a, for a purpose. You were called for a purpose, but you can lose it. You can become useless in the hand of God. You can become a useless creature to the point that men can tra trade on you. Satan can trade on you, misuse you. Deal with you as he wants. Destroy you. But discover your importance. Discover your use. Discover your calling. There are many people that would have been great, but they lost the opportunity. They were careless. They did not recognize the day of their salvation. The day of their usefulness. As Jesus cried over Jerusalem, Oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem, if you had known your day, if you had known what the Lord had planned for you, how the Lord meant to brood you, brood over you, but you have not known. Now you are left to yourself desolate. God wants to use you and give meaning to your life. And he brought you here. He wants to use your ministry and give meaning to it. And he brought you here, O oh Jerusalem, that you would know that this is the time 
God wants you to shine. That you would know that this calling to Christian unity, biblical unity, is the time God will want to make your ministry meaningful. To make your ministry impactful. That you will know of, the, know of this, then you will cooperate. You will enroll into it. You will give yourself into it. So that you become a blessing to humanity. A blessing to the church. You will serve as a preservative to the church. You will serve to keep the church from being rotten. From decaying. Then you will be good for something. If you lose this opportunity because of selfishness. If you lose this opportunity because you allow yourself to be deceived after having come to hear, having come to, to, to see yourself, having come to verify this thing yourself, then your usefulness is lost. Your ministry has gone. It has no meaning. It has no contribution to eternity. Can take nobody anywhere. Can take nobody can take no one to anywhere to heaven no but i pray your eyes will open i pray you will offer your god yourself to god and say lord use me to season humanity use me to preserve your church in jesus name not only soul but light also ye are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Truly, some of you were really called by God into ministry, but you are not known. Your works are not felt. He really called you, but you are... You are Cover, you are sealed up somewhere and people don't know what you are doing the time has come that the people will know the calling God has for your life I say the time has come that the Lord himself is going to raise you up make you to be known in your community and beyond yes by this assignment, by this special call the Lord has given you to gather the people for himself. To go in among men. And bring them to Christ. And to shine as light. Do you shine? The truth is light. Go and propagate this truth. Spread this truth. Give meaning to yourself. All the things many ministers have been doing. In these various places are vanity have nothing to do with jesus you also were one of them i suppose walking sweating jumping singing but to no value because you were not walking on truth you were not walking on the way you are not following the path you were not fulfilling the law of god if any man strives to be a master if any man strives to win, if he does not follow the rule, he cannot win. You were not following the rule of righteousness. You were not teaching the things that concern eternal life. You were not really bringing people to real salvation and total freedom from sin. You were not bringing people to full victory over Satan. So all you were doing, you were making some noise, you were going up and down, you were gathering people for no value. The imams are gathering people. Crowds. Of what value is that to eternity? Of what value is that to eternity? Bah! God has brought you out from that valueless life. The Lord has called you out from that valueless ministry. He said, I'm going to raise you up. I call you for a purpose. I will put you on top of the table. I say I will put you on top of the table. So that your light will shine. Praise the Lord. 
you will shine. God will make you shine. The Lord will make your ministry useful. Hallelujah. Recognition will come on you. Grace will come on you. You were really part of the dry bone that the Lord said, can this one recover? The man of God said, down no way. He said, go and tell him, I'll recover him. I will recover her. Go and tell her, I'm going to recover her. The Lord has recovered you. The power of God has come upon your life and has changed you. Your dry bones are now alive. You are going to do something for Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, I will do something for Jesus. Remember when the dry bones were walked upon by the word of God, by the spirit of God. The Bible says they rose up a mighty army by the work God has done in your life, by the work the Holy Ghost has done, by the word of God you have heard. You are waking up, you are rising up a mighty end time army that will bring victory over the, the devil, the works of Satan. And you will gather the people for the rapture. You will gather the people for the rapture. The Lord has given you the victory. Army of the living God. Shout hallelujah. They, they are waiting for you there. As you are coming, evil will be running away from you. As you are coming, people, the Lord will give them sign that you are coming. And that you are a new person. Make sure you go and show them that you are a new person. Your wife is not here with you, I suppose. Go, let your wife, let your family be the first to know that something has happened to you. Let the sons of the prophets that are there, they saw you cross the river Jordan to go with Elisha, to go with Elijah. Now, as you are crossing back home, the river will part for you by the power of Elijah. And the sons of the prophets, they shall see that the anointing of Elijah now rests on Elisha. The double portion of Elijah now rests on Elisha. Receive! Glory to our God. What has the Lord called you for? To endlessly contend for the faith. In the book of Jude. Jude verse 3. The Bible tells us. Jude verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye may earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Endlessly contend. Endlessly contend. As you're going now, fight for this. Fight. Already Satan has overcome the society. Already Satan has overcome many churches. In the society. Your quarter. Satan has been ruling freely. And has brought everyone under your control. I will tell you a practical encounter with Satan. We went for visa. To go to France. In Lagos. Now. When we went. Satan came and said. There in the, I think we were parked at the, just in the premises of the visa uh, center. Satan came to say, where do you want to go? Europe? You will not go there. A place I took thousands of years to arrest and bind and, buy and put under my control. You say you are going to set them free. It shall not happen. The devil is waiting for you. That's why you must be battle. You must go and contend and remove that key from Satan. Yeah. It is battle. 
he has kept the people on the dead he has kept those local churches and sealed them up i remember again we were in tarava state for a program in one of the local churches and as we were preaching ministering the world in a revelation a demon came out and came to peep inside <laughs> my brother this is a real came to peep as which people came here and the demon is looking dusty because he has been living in that church for a long time this voice they have sealed up everything the preachers selected the message to preach everything they have concluded on that no light no fire no life nothing but which people came here? Eh? Which people came here? Which voice am I seeing, hearing? What power am I seeing moving here? The demon came to see. He said, eh? New people have come here. Ha! You will be there. Yeah. I said those churches that demons have possessed, you are coming there. I say you are coming there. <laughs> you want to know another thing that demon did? Mm. The demon said, no, 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 this will not be. That evening, that evening crusade, the type of rain that came, the rain flooded that church such that you have to stand up and put your leg somewhere else. Nobody should sit down in that place. Wow. I have been. This is my place. This is my place. When did people come here? Brethren, it's a, it's a matter of sorrow. The churches your father attend. Your mother. Your, the church your father attend. Your mother attend. Your relations attend. Have already been given to Satan. That's what the Lord calls them synagogue of satan the churches of your society have already been contracted to satan he said this have i given to me and satan is the one that gives out to ministers who sign a contract a covenant with him no heaven for them no truth for them now the lord called you here among the people he will use to go back and contend with the devil. Yes, it's a battle. It's a battle. Pouring water into the place doesn't mean he has won the victory. He has won the victory. No. The victory means we remain, remains ours who are in the light. So now you are going back. You are going back. May the Lord give you the power of Samson. You are going to carry the gates of hell from that place. And put it in your shoulder. And go and throw it away. I say you will put it in your shoulder. You will climb mountain by the power of the Holy Ghost. And you will throw it over, over the mountain to the valley. It will break up. A new thing will happen in that community. A new thing will happen in that community. I wish you should be beating your heart and say something new is going to happen in that community. May the Lord depend on you. May the Lord use you. He has been looking for people. He has been looking for people. It's not easy finding them. It's not. It's not easy finding the people. Now, are you available? God is asking, are you available for me? Yeah. Then he will use you. Yeah. Then he will use you. Yeah. When David offered himself to solve a problem of one month in the war, because nobody was able to stand Goliath for 40 days, Saul now said, let me dress you in my armor. The armor of Saul couldn't match David. But 
If now that God has found you, he will dress you in his armor. Yeah. Now that you have said, you will go and face that matter and open the gate of eternal life that the people in that community can now sigh, sigh relief, can now see the light of heaven. Now that you have said so, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Holy Ghost from heaven shall come upon your life. The Holy Ghost from heaven shall come upon your life. The power of the Most High shall overshadow you. You will go and lose those people. Yes, he has been looking for somebody. Endlessly go and contend. Struggle. Struggle to seize power. Struggle to be in control. For God's sake, what do you contend for Christian unity? Look at it in Ephesians. Chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. I read from verse 3 to verse 6. From verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. For this unity that the Holy God has brought, that we should be one, you have to labor, endeavor, struggle. Because some forces will go contrary to you. Some things will discourage you. You have some members who are in your church, in your ministry, and some of them are demons. So, if they see that you are standing for the truth, they will threaten you. Then you must endeavor. You must make up your mind to stand for this de decision, for this calling that the Holy Ghost has given you. Otherwise, they will clearly tell you that we are not for that. That they have taken you to Abuja to deceive you. That they have taken you to Abuja and given you some spells. They don't know that it is you are intoxicated by the Holy Ghost. You are intoxicated by the spirit of truth. You have been in darkness all this while. You thought you were a minister. It is now you are a minister. It is now you are a minister. You didn't have a manifesto. It's now God has given you a manifesto from heaven. You didn't have a vision. Now you can see. When you didn't have vision, the people were perishing under you. Now that the vision of God has come, the people shall live under you. The people shall live under you. But these demons will want to resist you. And since they are in the majority, some of them will start withdrawing from the church. If you, if you do that, I will withdraw. I will withdraw just to threaten you and make sure you, you go to hell. They were sent there for your hell. Those members were sent to your ministry for your hellfire. All the smiles they are giving to you is to make you comfortable until you drop to the pit. All the hell they were giving to you, and in fact some of them, the troubles they were giving to you is for hell. As long as you didn't know the truth, you are not walking in the truth. It is now. It is now. Your eyes have seen. Job said, I'll be hearing with the hearing of the ear. Now my eyes see. It. Now my eyes see. Now you have seen Christianity. You have seen Christian ministry. Now you have a direction. You have a direction. Now the vision is clear. The vision is clear. Woman. You have been under a pastor that has been lusting after you. And that gave you pride in that church. You were under doom. Because your glory was in a backsliding pastor. Your glory was in a fallen pastor. Your glory was in a hellish pastor that has been lusting after you. That has been uh, wishing after you. Have been touching you. Have been carrying you here and there. Now your eyes see. You can't be under that pastor anymore. You can't be under that pastor anymore. 
what Jesus has done here, Jesus did the work of a stronger man. Jesus descended on that power in your life that kept you in captivity and broke the yoke. Your yoke has been broken. I say your yoke has been broken. And the Lord has set you free. When a strong man arm keepeth his goods, you keep at his palace. His goods are in peace. Nobody will come there because he is a strong man. But when a stronger than he shall come, you came and met a stronger than he in this place. You met with Jesus here. You, he laid hand upon you. And all those powers of Satan in your life, those ones moving inside your body, those ones tied around you, got broken here. And now you are free. You won't go back there anymore. Those herbalists have lost a customer. I said they have lost a customer. And the customer they lost is you. I said the customer they lost is you. Those oppressors have lost, have lost one of their candidates. They were oppressing you freely. But now you have been removed. You have been removed from the realm of oppression. Thou shalt be far from oppression. The Lord said you will be far from oppression. All those powers that are oppressing ministers in that land so that they cannot achieve anything. The Lord has taken you out from that oppression. The power of God has removed you from that oppression. A new weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. All the powers of witches and wizards in that land that have arrested spiritually all the ministers there that they will just be under their control. You have escaped. You have escaped. Hallelujah. How did you know that the Lord was planning something like that for you? Did you know that a day like that was planned for a change over in your life? For a new thing in your life? For a rejuvenation in your life? A transformation in your life? A regeneration in your life? A translation in your life? Did you know that it is done? It is done. It is done. The Lord has accomplished it in your life. That is it. I'm rejoicing. My joy is I've gotten brothers and sisters in the righteousness of Christ. I've gotten brothers and sisters in the holiness of Christ. I've gotten brothers and sisters that their tongue has been sanctified. Their mouth have been cleansed like prophet, prophet Elisha by the call of fire taken from the altar that has entered into them and they say your iniquity has been taken away your sins have been purged now I have a group of people that will answer the call who shall go for us whom shall we say look at them they say here am I I say look at them they say here am I oh God send me oh God send me holiness of love spread in various places in various society your church shall become a holy church your church will be the representative of god in that society because the lord has cleansed you glory to god a joy to me we have increased i say holiness preachers have increased you have added to the number i say you have added to the number we have increased we have increased glory to god you're welcome please can you shake him tell him he's welcome to holiness the holiness group holiness church holiness ministry <laughs> ha! the people the lord puts his eyes upon you're welcome there you are welcome there to the glory of the Lord. So, contain for this Christian unity. That's what the Lord is saying. There's one body. The church is not divided. Contain for this. Don't allow the names to separate you. 
denominational names. Don't allow them to separate you. Now, they have told you about titles. You just pick title anyhow. I am bishop. I am apostle. I have dropped those things. You're causing confusion. Who gave, you, who gave them to you? Is it God? Or imagination of your mind? Or some people who are going about ordaining people to scatter the church. To put pride in people's lives. Empty yourself of that pride. Empty yourself. I am, I, I am right apostle. I am prophet this person. What are you doing those things for? What are you just to get title? What qualifies you into that title? The Holy Ghost told me. It was, it's not the original Holy Ghost. Because look into the scripture and see. Paul had to defend the, his apostleship. Because apostleship is not for everybody. He had to defend apostleship. He gave out qualifications of being an apostle in his scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Am I not an apostle? Have I not seen the Lord? I hear not the fruits of my service. It's not everybody. But you just, just woke up like this and say, Today, from today, I am an apostle. That's a sin. That's a sin. That is a sin. The simple name is pastor. Look at it in the book of Jeremiah. Chapter Jeremiah chapter 2 and see how the Lord addresses shepherds of his church. Jeremiah chapter 3 instead, please, chapter 3 verse 15. He says Jeremiah 3 15. And I will give you pastors. These are the ones here. Why don't you be content with this name? Why are you struggling with people who have no heaven? Just for title. For personal honor. They say you are a bishop. And they say a bishop, we must have a car. A bishop must uh, have a driver. A bishop must... Have... Why are you doing those things? Why don't you go to normal? And I will give you pastors According to my heart, are they, is it apostles? Are you going on names? Pastors, shepherd, shepherd. I will give you pastors according to my heart, who shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Why are you not content with this? Why are you going after names that have no anointing? God didn't give it to you. Can you do what other, more than what others do? Then why have you jumped to taking name of honor? To receive honor. You have got your honor already on earth. I'm telling you this truth. And this is what makes them content. When they go, these bishops and whatever, they go, maybe they go to the government house, and the governor gives them money, then you will now know what this name can do. I am a bishop. I have been a bishop before you. I am the senior bishop. And then you see, you can watch bishops fight physically. That's what this type of name can do for you. It's simple-minded. It's what the Lord wants you to do. And not title. Don't take title from these people going up and down. They don't know God. They just go about ordaining reverence, ordaining bishop, ordaining apostles, ordaining, because the one who has the highest number of bishops, then he should be archbishop. Christianity is not in those things. Christianity is not in those things. Bishop, listen to it in the book of 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 3. I read verse 1. The Bible says, This is a true saying. If a man desired the office of a bishop, he desired a good thing, a good work. Do you know that it's a general title of a pastor? Why have some people cut it off and limited it to some others? It's a general title. An elder, a leader, a pastor. If a man desires the office of a bishop he desires a good thing it is there for everybody 
Why have they cut it off? Only for some few to make them proud. This is what caused the Holy Ghost to leave the church. In many quarters. Because they are seeking their own honor. They are seeking their own glory. And before they make a man a bishop, they deliver him to Satan. They make him a direct disobedient person to God. That's what they are doing. A bishop must put on a cap in the church because they know he is not under the authority of God. Otherwise, he that prayed and prophesied with his head covered, dishonored his head, and the head of every man is Christ. They make a bishop reject Jesus, reject his head, hate him. That's what they do. And you're looking for that title. To join up with people that have no names in the, in the book of life. That's why you can't The Holy Ghost will not use you. Ah, what is in your mind is not original. You are looking for the glory of the earth. You are looking for human honor. Looking for title. Looking for title. That's what you are doing. Why don't you go on the simple title of a pastor? I will give you pastors after my heart. Pastor because you are a shepherd. Taking care of the flock of God. Look at it in the book of, the book of Galatians. Chapter 1. Galatians. I read chapter 1. Verse 1. Paul, an apostle not of me i am apostle mean didn't ordain me for it but they ordained you for it they ordained you for it it is mean that ordained you paul said my apostleship is not of me paul an apostle not of me neither by man not neither by the recommendation of man somebody will come and say ah you are, you, you are fit to be an apostle. He looked at you. No, no, no. I can, see the, I can see the anointing of an apostle. I can see anointing. Satanic anointing. That's what he seen. Is this somebody who saw it in Paul and gave him that title? Paul, an apostle, not of me, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ. Can you say Jesus gave you? If it's not a voice you manufacture, and the Lord spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me. Has done, are you the only Christian? What have you achieved in life? What have you achieved for God? What's the size of your ministry? What's your authority in the ministry? What's your knowledge in scripture? That you say you are an apostle. God gave it to you. How? He said it is by Christ. And God the Father who raised him from the dead. It was that. By that I got this apostleship that's what he said again in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1 Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1 Paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God it was the will of God it's not my choice God willed it and gave it to me he gave it to me. Not as if it is a name only. It was seen by the works I have done. We have to remove this thing because we are talking about Christian unity. Titles are contending with this. A small boy who just came up. He came up about two months ago. Uh, what's your name? I'm Apostle Daniel. Eh? You are who? Just to get honor for himself. Those are not the people into Christian unity. Because you will be exercising authority that is not okay for you. If you want to walk and you want to go some, to somebody to somewhere fast, don't walk with somebody wearing oversized shoes. You can't move fast. His leg will always be coming out of the shoe because the shoe is oversized. The man has put on a title that is greater than him. You can't associate with him. He can't walk. It's oversized. It's an oversized shoes. That's what we're talking about. It's by the will of God. Not by the choice of men. 
not by the confirming of men. So, endlessly contend for the faith. Contend, struggle for it to maintain this purity, this decency in Christianity. Let's go back. Give me the old time religion. Old time. So, in Ephesians chapter 4, it tells us, we have one body. The, the church is one. One, one spirit. If you say what you are doing is of the Holy Spirit, can, we, can you give us examples of those type of things in other places? Because you're not the only human being. You're not the only Christian. You're not the only pastor. So, it's one Holy Spirit. Why is it done differently somewhere? And there they conform to scripture. Yes, you don't conform to scripture and you say it's Holy Spirit. No, it's not Holy Spirit. It's not. His lang the language of the Spirit is one. Because it's one language. If you are ordained of God, bring forth fruit that shows your ordination. Bring forth fruit. Otherwise, you are cast away and dry up. Again, one hope of our calling. We are going to heaven. That is where our mind is. But this may be, many of these ministers don't think of heaven. Were you even thinking of heaven? Come tell the truth. Were you focusing heaven? Did you even remember that you are, you are alive for heaven? Were you looking for it? Were you even preaching heaven? You were doing another thing. These ministers, are they preaching heaven? I told you if a minister who says, with all this grace, structures and beauty of this university that's why i don't think of going to heaven now how would they think of it whose mind who mind earthly things but if you think of heaven there's one thing that will follow that thought first john chapter three verse two and three Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. Thought of heaven goes with holiness. Thought of heaven, desire for heaven goes with holiness every man that has this thought this hope in him purifies himself all these issues of jewelry that woman who doesn't want to remove them is never thinking of heaven otherwise he will, she will be willing to sacrifice all it's better I don't wear them and go to heaven and be told that by the way you could have been using them no problem than that i had in my heart and i want to enter they said no 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 no. i don't want chance i will be i want to be 100 percent assured i'm going to heaven that will carry 50 percent i'm only going to go to heaven if jewelry is not a sin but if jewelry is a sin then i'm gone <laughs> is a serious person is he a serious person? He's not thinking of heaven. He's not thinking. All this palming, attachment, wearing of trousers by these women. All these things you are doing, allowing it in your church is a sin. Using them in your pulpit is a sin. It's a defilement. These women that cut, tear their skirt to their bottom, you make them climb up. It is a sin and iniquity. It's a pollution. And God will not be there. God will not be there. That place is not clean. That place is not clean. Your wife must come under control. She's not, she was not the one that died for those people on the cross. And 
nobody has assured you that she must go to heaven therefore if she's opposed to your ministry of righteousness and holiness leave her alone move forward she's a separate soul she's a separate soul that is it leave her to god and let god work on her and she has the right to reject god and perish didn't the wife of law perish If your wife perished, is, is it, are you the only one? Didn't the wife of Lot perish? Because she would not hear God. Did Lot perish with her? No, Lot had God. You hear God. Similarly, woman, don't perish with your husband. Hear God. If you don't put on that airing, our marriage has finished. Heaven is more than marriage. Heaven is more than Everybody say heaven is more than marriage. simple and note that the hair of your head shall not fall to the ground unless the lord allows it whatever is the trait of that man that marriage will not break except god allows it except god allows it otherwise it will end up in threatening like this that the rain making noise in this the, i mean the cloud i mean the, the thunder making noise in the cloud but the rain will not come so that is endlessly contained because we have one for one perfect as others are perfecting exam is coming people are reading are you not going to read are you not also going to write the exam again in Ephesians chapter 4 The Bible tells us in verse, in verse 4 there is one body and one spirit even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Verse 5 one Lord. Who is the Lord? Who is the Lord? I've been telling a story because it happened practically. We were in, we were in Kenya 2000 and 15 in a revelation jesus came and met us in kenya and was telling me i uh, i go to places to prepare for your coming i'm coming from a place now there is a man there that has been preaching himself i went to him and said preach me don't preach yourself. Preach me. And the man said, if I preach you, what about myself? If I preach you, then what about myself? Can you understand? He said, my angel wanted to smite him down. I said, no, leave it. Even as he was talking to me, I was agitated. That's what people are doing. You are preaching yourself. You are preaching yourself. You are preaching yourself to those people. That is why they are not making extra effort to know Jesus. They are not making extra effort to read the Bible. They are not making extra effort to spend time in the presence of God to know him more. Because the figure that has been presented to them is yourself. Not what Jesus has said. You have not shown them. Jesus is the authority. Jesus is the savior. And that's what they are doing in all these places. Many all these ministers. They are pointing attention to themselves. But now. Go and preach Jesus. Remove yourself. Go and preach Jesus. Remove pride from you. Mortal man. Don't compete with God. Go and preach Jesus. He is the Lord. He is the one to serve the people. He is the one to give the people heaven. You are preaching yourself because you want them to give to you, to bow to you, to surrender to you, to give worship to your life. It's a sin. 
Go and make the people know Jesus. That I may know him. What things were gained to me, I count loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. Yea, doubtless, I count everything but loss. I consider everything but dung. Because of Jesus. So go and promote him. We are promoting Jesus here. It is Jesus we are promoting here. Not ourselves. Go and promote Jesus, not yourself. He is the Lord of all. When Peter went to the Gentiles, Cornelius fell down to worship. He said, no, I am a man like you. Worship God. The thing which has spoken of Jesus, he is the Lord of all. And ah, if I be lifted up by you, I will draw all men there to myself. The power to attract them, I will release. The power to pull them, I will release it. Go and lift me up. One law, then obey his commandment. Why are you not obeying the commandment of Jesus if he's your Lord? Why are you not submitting to him? Why are you not receiving instruction from him if he's your Lord? If you call me Lord, and Master and Lord, you do well. But, if I am your Master and Lord, why are you not obeying? Why are you not submitting? I showed you my will clearly. You refused. Then am I my own master and Lord? One faith. You were never aware of the doctrine of sanctification. That is why you didn't attend to holiness. And your members never attend to holiness. It was all strive. You have got it now. It is the same truth. You only didn't know. You never know the doctrine. You never knew the doctrine of restitution. But it's now. Your eyes have opened. It has been required. If you don't do it. If your members do not do restitution. No heaven. All they are doing is vanity. That man that is married to two wives. His name is not in the book of life. He's one of your elders. A man that is a polygamist who was coming to the church I pastored in Deeper Life many, many years ago. He saw that we had problem with public address system. So he bought amplifier and brought, and brought all this to us. I said, no, we can't take it. Take it back. You, have, you are not right with God. We can't take from you. You are not right with God. You have not done restitution. You are doing nothing about it. Are we going to collect from you? No. No. I remember also that a politician wanted to contest for election and was sharing money to church. That Sunday morning, they were bringing um, our own money to us. I said, no. Are we politicians? I said, no. You must endlessly contain to, for the purity of the church. It's God that grows the church. The Lord added to the church daily. Such as should be saved. You are contending for growth. And you are adding snakes to your church. You are adding scorpions. To Bite the people there and none will escape. But go now, contend for purity, for holiness, for submission to Jesus, for obeying all the word of God. All the word of God. Take Holy Communion. We have demonstrated it for you. Not to have a church that doesn't take Holy Communion. Which means you're not sub submissive to the world. What are you doing? You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. If a man strives for mastery and 
he, and unless he strives lawfully, he is not crowned. He is not. God. <laughs> Jesus is playing with you and laughing with you, even when you are committing sin. Ah, Jesus, I know you will forgive you. But the judgment waiting for you is the word of God. He said, it is my word that shall be your judge in that day. Because I exalt my word above my name. Go and measure yourself by the scale of my word. He said, but Jesus, you have been visiting me. I said, go to my word there. Go and measure yourself. Go and stand there in the balance. If you fail, repair yourself. Correct yourself now. If you're thinking of heaven. One Lord. One faith, one teaching, holiness. Not using hearing is a standard teaching, both by scripture and by the revelations of God. If you refuse, it's your damnation. If you refuse to teach it, it's for the damnation of the members of your church. But the Lord will allow you in a way, because it's a wise God eventually at least keep them there the catholic church is serving a purpose if there were no catholic church the number of wickedness would have increased in the earth but it's not for heaven because they're not following the law yet they're doing some good thing the muslims are serving a purpose they're not going to heaven but there's this a purpose they they have they help to keep society in a moral state so your church is also serving a purpose. Not for heaven. If it's for heaven, then follow the rule. Follow the same teaching. Otherwise, you are serving a purpose. If you are walking in a lonely road, the other man that you don't even know him, that is also following the road, is helping you. You are not walking alone. But you don't know him. No, allow him to go with you. It's, giving, it's keeping you warm. It's a security to you. But you're not going to the same place. Are you going to heaven? Is that church for heaven? Then the standard of heaven must be kept. Otherwise the Lord will allow you because you're helping. You're helping. You're helping to keep morale. Not holiness. And it is holiness that goes to heaven. Follow peace with all men and holiness. With that which no man shall see the Lord. But you can keep a moral church and be teaching them some moral things. That's why the Lord allowed these churches to be there. He's the great of, he's the God of wisdom. Are you there by the forbearance of God? Or you are there by the will of God? is the word of God. One Lord, one hope, one baptism. It's not water baptism. It's not water baptism. But a transformation of the Holy Spirit by which a new character, higher character of, of lifestyle is put into you by, as you believe on the Lord Jesus. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 I read verse 12 and 13. It goes, For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are but one, one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized. That is the word baptism, not water baptism. Are we all baptized into one body? And what is this baptized into one body? John chapter 3. Verse 5. Verse 3 to 5. John chapter 3. Verse 3 to verse 5. The Bible tells us here. Say, Jesus answered and said unto him. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, 
he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This is the one baptism. Water is the word. They wash by the regeneration, by the washing of water and regeneration of the Holy Ghost. Washing of water. That's talking about the word. And regeneration of the Holy Ghost. This is the one baptism that the Bible is talking about in Titus chapter 3 verse 4 to 6 but after that the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appear not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of, re of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost this is that baptism a new life so it's one if you say you're born of the spirit the same character not terrible root character angry as a wild beast no full of fighting battle no not a drunkard no not a witch not a wizard no if you have been born again Baptized by the Spirit into the body of Christ. One character. You have been washed by the washing of water. The word of God is that water. There are three that bear record on earth. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. The water talks about the world that cleanses people. So, if you're born again, let's know it by your life. All things are passed away. Let's know it. One character. Show it. Otherwise, go back to Jesus and say, he, he, should, he should make you born again. Go and ask him. Go and plead with him. And when the change comes, you will know it. We will know it. Because if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold means see him. Watch him. All things have become new. Your wife should know. Your husband should know. Even your children should know that there's a difference. Something is not happening again. Old things have passed away. Something is happening now. All things become new. So one baptism. One God and Father. The Heavenly Father. Subject to him. Because he is the one you are worshipping. And is the one I am worshipping. Why shouldn't we love one another? Why shouldn't we accept one another? That which is causing us not to accept one another is an infirmity. It's sickness. It's spiritual sickness. Otherwise, if we have one father... If we are the children of one man, why don't we come together and sit together? Now, the Lord is saying, this is a new thing you are going home with. Can I depend on you? Will you stand steadfast to this? It's a change. A radical change. Will you remain on it? Or when you go and see your wife, you will change. When you go and see your husband, you will change. When you go to see the members of your church, you will lose courage. Then, you are not righteous. The righteous are bold as a lion. If you are going here with righteousness, that you have gotten the righteousness, you will go with boldness. Nobody is greater than God in that place. Ah, I am serving under another person pastor he will not want this teaching i wish you kept quiet many years ago because that type of word is offending jesus who told you that that pastor is greater than you am i greater than you who told you that god put a mark in that pastor that shows that he's higher than you did the lord sell you to him if you cannot take it leave that place thank god the lord has given you a ministry a new ministry and it is called Holiness Revival Movement. 
worldwide if you are rejected we accept you who will who will reject a holy man <laughs> who will reject a holy man i say who will reject a holy minister god the laborers are always few god has worked for you therefore don't be afraid go and preach it and the lord will not remove you from there <laughs> listen when the lord gave revelation this heavenly revelation of the visitation of jesus i wrote it in a book and some of you have read the book it uh, the title used to be divine revelation of god's holiness and judgment michael thomas how many of you have read it now we change the title to escaping hellfire and entering heaven met simple how many of you have a copy very good i wrote that contrary to the law of deeper life that no no preach no overseer should write a book but the lord let me to do it go and do it it's god if we follow this canon laws the gospel will be affected gospel will be affected i don't say you should not follow rules but there are some rules god himself wants you to break them because they're not pure they're not from him they will hinder his move they will hinder his move and because of that book i was dismissed from deeper life so the person you're sitting under now said was a dismissed pastor from another corner <laughs> hallelujah 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 if dismissed pastors can be like pastor Paul Rick, i think you would like to be dismissed wherever you are that is what it means because when they bound peter bound peter bound the, uh, peter in, the, in, in prison the lord loosed him and said go to, go to, go to preach my word when the apostles were bound the lord loosed them and said angel came and set them free go to the temple and preach my word i was not the one that bind you that bound you no i was not it's ignorance of me that did that and i won't keep you here move go and preach my word and i will back you up and the world shall know that i have called you if you read this other book yes, i'm going to give those who don't have you knew that, that the lord was speaking to pastor Kumui. i said no pastor paul i was the one walking in him i he was not stubborn it was me walking in him i call him how many of you have read it in that book exactly i call him god will defend you so don't fear that you're under any man go and preach to save those people who came to that ministry if it is too much that the man will drive you away some of the members will go with you then you have saved them when paul entered a synagogue and preached and he said no 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 leave others will follow him so church i started there for jesus give a clap offering to jesus the lord is setting you free the lord is setting you free the lord is anointing you the lord is changing your life the lord is putting another spirit in you the holy ghost for holy ministry for righteous ministry for acceptable ministry for the heavenly ministry amen finally stand strong the devil will not want to leave you alone in the book of first peter chapter five i read from verse seven to verse eleven casting all your care upon him for he cared for you be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour whom resist steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world but the god of all grace who had called us unto his eternal glory by christ jesus after ye after the ye have suffered a while make you perfect establish strengthen 
and settle you. Verse 11, 1, 2, go everybody. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Let this anointed minister say, The devil is waiting to threaten you. Either by family, by poverty, or by some things in ministry, or by some things you are not aware. Remember Daniel. Whatever conspired, conspiracy came on him, he escaped the den of the lions. You will escape. Remember the three Hebrews children. Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego. Thrown into the fire because they would not compromise. The Son of God was with them in the fire. So, don't fear Satan. You have won the battle already. That is what you should know. He will want to rule out. Hey, my brethren, I went to the zoo in Ibadan. They took me to where the lion was caged. And the place was fenced with, fenced, fenced and given room for people to, there is a pathway for people to move around. So when I came to the lion, and the lion looked at us and said, Roar! I said, The only thing is that it was bound there where it was. Otherwise, my life would have been gone. <laughs> Whatever the royal leg of Satan, he has been bound already. Yeah. I say he has been bound already. Yeah. If I say he has been bound, your life is saved. Whatever the royal leg of Satan, you have won over him. You have won over him. And the Lord will give you safety. Witches and wizards shall not hurt you. They shall not overcome you. Their poisons will never work. Their shooting shall never enter. Because the Lord has given you the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Whom resisted fast in the faith. Stand fast. This truth must be taught there. This truth must be introduced. This truth that you have learned must be propagated. Resisted fast in the faith. Everything to push you off. Because you are going to join a new heavenly group. They are new recruits for end time. It's new recruits of ministers of end time. To prepare the church for the coming of Jesus our Lord. This is the new employment you have received with appointment letter from heaven. Show me your appointment letter. Show me your appointment letter. Yes, that hand is an appointment letter you have received. I say it is an appointment letter you have received. Therefore, don't allow anybody to push you out of this. Don't allow the devil. Don't allow it. To push you out of this. Whom resisted fast in the faith. Knowing that the same afflictions. Are accomplished in your brethren. That are in the world. You are not the only one. They are fighting at. They have been fighting at me. They have been fighting at me. Fighting at other ones too. So you are not the only one. We are standing. We are willing to stand. We are human beings as you are. Elijah was a man subject to like passions. As we are. If we are standing, where would he not stand? Go and stand. I say, go and stand. Yeah. Whom resisted first in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace is now you will really know the grace of God in your life. Because some things will be happening by themselves. You say, ah, God, where have you been? He said, I've been waiting for when you answer the altar call to holiness ministry. Some things will be happening by themselves in your, in your life. Some doors will be opening by themselves in your life. 
It is the grace of God. It will be sufficient for you. But the grace, but the God of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while. Thank God. I didn't call you that I will be you should come, I will be paying you salary. You hear? By the grace of God. Did I promise salary to anybody here? So, in, in case you lack money, it is just for a while. Money will come. Because you will suffer, but for a while. In case some things happen in that environment that are working negatively, it's for a while. In case the devil brought up a wild wind against your way, it is a, it's for a while. And God allows it as a test to know how you will behave. You were led through this great and terrible wilderness that the Lord might prove you and know what is in you. Whether ye will fear the Lord your God or not. For a while. But the God of all grace who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that ye have suffered a while make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen and settle you. I'm grateful, brother, that we shall be entering into the pearly gate of heaven together. I'm grateful you qualify as I have qualified. We'll tell more story over there. We shall understand it better by and by. I am by my baby. Oh yes. When the money comes, fresh comes. Hallelujah. By am by my brother. Tell the story. We shall understand it. I am by my sister. Oh yeah. In the morning. before the Lord and tell him what is your commitment now what is your commitment what which way are you committing to God make promises tell him what you shall do for him from henceforth what you shall do for him from from henceforth tell the Lord tell the Lord make a promise make a dedication of yourself to the living God to the living God dedicate yourself dedicate yourself what shall become of you from today how will life go with you from today how will life go with you from today what do you tell God promise. Repent of your sin. Repent of your sin. Repent of your sin. In Jesus name we pray. You have failed God as a minister. Actually you backslid. You were deceived and you began to do wrong things and you have offended God. 
and you want God to forgive you and give you another chance, just come forward for prayer. Quickly. You fail God. You backslid. You started doing wrong things. You learned from others. You, you went to Satan. He said, God, give me a chance. Give me a second time. God, let me have another time. I'm talking about people who understand heaven. I talk about people who are not ashamed of themselves. I'm talking about people who will not be ashamed of Jesus. People that have lost personal honor. It is the honor of God they're looking for now. As you come, just be talking to him and pleading with him. Be talking, be pleading, be talking, be pleading, be pleading. Tell him to have mercy. Promise him you will not be like that again. Tell him, the power will come from heaven. The power will come. When God knows you're serious, power will come. You'll be a new man. You'll be a new woman. A new thing will happen on you. Something new. Something new. Something new. Something new. Then you will see brightness. 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 Brightness of God will come on you. Yes. Yeah. Then you see the fruit of ministry will start showing. Hallelujah. They got buried. They got buried because iniquity buried them. Sin buried them. Evil buried them. But now that they will be washed off from you, you will see brightness, brightness, the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, the presence of God, the presence of God, the, the, the blessing of God. You will not be seeing it. Tell God you're sorry. Tell God you're sorry. Confess, confess, confess. Promise him. You will live a new life. You will live, live a new life. And go and remove those things. Go and correct your ways. Go and do restitutions. Ask God to help you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, cleanse them. Receive them. Wash them. Wash them, wash them, cleanse them, cleanse them, wash them, receive them. God bless them. Do good for them. Do good for them. Thank you, Father. Make them new. Make them new, oh Lord. Jesus. Take away the evil from them. Take away the evil. Loose them from their chain. Loose them from their chain. Worship. name we pray lay hand upon that heart that you are committing to Jesus now and repeat this after me Lord Jesus I am sorry for my sin I am sorry for error in ministry I am sorry for not doing it well forgive me Jesus God give me another chance cleanse my life Restore me, O oh Lord, to your fullness, to your righteousness. Grant me another opportunity as you granted Samson that for this remaining portion of my life on earth, I will do great work for you. Lord Jesus, accept me. Give me another chance. In Jesus name Almighty I commit this your children to you oh Lord I'm praying for those who are sincere you know their hearts answer them give them another chance I am asking you will reform them you will regenerate them you will transform them the Spirit of God will come back to their life 
Righteousness will shine in their life. Lord Jesus, be with them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now you can go back, you can raise up what you have written. What do you want God to do for you? The time has come. Everybody stand up upon your feet. What do you want God to do for you? You have written it. The Bible says, Hezekiah carried the letter to the temple and spread it before the Lord and began to pray on those things. Yes. Raise it up before the Lord and begin to pray on them. Begin to pray on those things. Glory. Father, your presence is here. I know you, you are happy with what is going on. Ah, worship you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Begin to pray on those things you have written. Something good. Something good. Something good. The salvation of the Lord. The gifts of God. The mercies of God. Healing and deliverance. New mercies, the callings of God, open doors, righteousness and holiness, the family life, marriage in the will of God, peace in the womb. The Lord answer you. Take away, the Lord take away fear. Jesus name we pray. Raise up that letter, that writing to the God of heaven. Almighty Father, you are the author of this ministry. You are the author of this association. God, everything that will make your people effective in your service. Release it upon the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. For with God all things are possible. Lord, even when they were writing, they said, ah, this one, ah, this one. You can do it. Lay that person that was wondering, can this one be done? Let that thing be done in your eyes in Jesus' name. Mighty God, let your angels go with them home. Let there be a performance in the home. Let there be a miracle in the family. Let there be divine visitation in the family. Oh Lord, touch their families in Jesus' name. Father, the people are asking for marriage. They are asking, I want to marry for a better ministry. Support in ministry. I want my wife to be converted and be born again. To support me. Father, I want my husband to understand with me and submit to the Lord, whatever that is. My God, I decree answer to them that the God of heaven will answer them. The God of heaven will answer them. Oh God, answer them. Oh God, answer them. My brother, receive your answer. My sister, receive your answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. My God, matters of children, 
stubborn children, root children, or as children's school fees, the needs of children, sick child, oh my God, or those who don't even have children, they're what looking for it. I make a decree of the power of God. The power of God will answer you. The power of God will answer you. The name of the Lord Jesus will answer you. The name of the Lord Jesus will answer you. I command the stone to roll out from your family. I pray the Lord will break the power of stubborn children. The Lord will break the power in stubborn children. In the name of Jesus. I command healing upon your family. Let your children be healed. By the power of God. Let them be delivered. Let demons get out of their life. Let the fire of the Lord descend on your family. Let the Lord change that family. In the name of Jesus. I pray the Lord will make your family fruitful. The Lord will give you children. The Lord will give you children. Oh Lord, answer their prayers. In Jesus name we pray. Father. Money answered all things. Money is required in emergency. For your work. For your salvation. For your blessing. For, to buy something. To do something. To defend the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, I believe it. By the power of God, I command money. Wherever it is. In the righteousness of Christ. Come to them. In the name of Jesus. Receive. By the power of God. Let miracle happen. Miracle of money. Receive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All property. Land building vehicles that your children are looking for my father answer them Amen. let them have it Amen. have it to sufficiency Amen. Jesus do it Amen. Jesus do it Amen. Jesus do it Amen. Jesus pray down pray down pray down everyone receive 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 in Jesus name we pray the quarrel in the house the peacelessness in the house the battle in the house or by another one tom torturing your people oppressing your people savior save them from it Amen. jesus save them from it let oppression be removed let oppression be cast out oh lord Deliver your people. In Jesus name we pray. I pray for the sick. Sick in the body. Father. Whatever is the sickness. Remember. You are the same today. Yesterday, today and forever. Remember. You are the healer. And you said we should heal in your name. Right now, I stand here facing my brethren every kind of sickness from your head down to the sole of your feet, whatever it is, however long time it has been there, whatever name it is called by, I have authority from the Father to cause that sickness to disappear. I have authority from the Father to cause your eyes to open. I have authority from the Father. To cause your ears to open. I have authority from the Father. To cause the barrenness to disappear. I have authority from the Father. To cause the ulcer to disappear. I have authority from the Father. To cause diabetes to die out. I have authority from the Father. To cause hypertension to disappear. I have authority from the Father. To cause HIV AIDS to disappear. I have authority from the Father. To cause your blood to be purified. To restore your kidney. To restore your bladder. 
to restore every organ in your body therefore by the power of God receive the miracle 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 receive receive be healed be healed be healed in the name of Jesus 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 all boon problem disappear all arthritis disappear all kinds of pain disappear hepatitis disappear by the power of God receive I deliver you now by the power of Jesus be delivered I break that yoke in your life I break that yoke in your life you are free you are free that secret has come out that secret has come out God has removed it God has removed it God has removed it praise the Lord give a clap offering to Jesus he's doing it in your life he's doing it in your life yes ha all demons that have been oppressing you in dream in the physical you find yourself under a spell the witches and wizards operating in your church and ministry power is coming now i say power is coming now anything buried in your house in the church anywhere fire i say fire i say fire all demons everywhere coming to you and say i am your husband i am your wife quickly raise up those hands fire is coming down all the fire is coming let your angels come come back with those demons 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 let there be battle over those demons by the power of god i bind them by the name of jesus i bind them in the lives of these ministers fire i said fire into the kingdom of darkness for your sake for your sake for your sake for your sake be delivered be delivered be delivered be delivered be delivered in jesus name be in jesus name all those curses put upon you i cancel them all those spells release against your life release against your ministry release against your family i destroy those spells i destroy those spells jesus deliver them holy god set your people free set your people free set your people free all those demons all those powers of witchcraft against your people those witches and wizards visit them visit them visit them with a power with a power with a victory 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 clean them off in jesus name we pray the power of poverty <laughs> a change is coming if they obey and serve him as you have chosen to do now they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure i'm going to change the history of your life by the holy ghost by the anointing jesus broke the yoke by the holy ghost and power Hallelujah. By the anointing. By the Holy Ghost and power. Not by, not by 
your hand that mountain must be removed almighty father by the holy ghost every mountain every yoke in the lives of your children god today break it by the power of god the yoke of masturbation god break it hallelujah my god and i the yoke of witchcraft in their lives. Father, break it. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, whatever yoke, the yoke of fear and timidity, break it. In the name of Jesus. The yoke of poverty in their life, break it. In Jesus' name. Every yoke broken. Every year broken, every year broken, be free, be free. You are free, you are free, you are free, you are free. In Jesus' name, we pray. The power, the power. The Pentecostal power. anointing holy ghost holy ghost open your mouth and say lord fill me with the holy ghost give me the gifts of the holy ghost lord fill me with the power the lord will answer the lord will answer the lord will answer the lord will answer he will answer he will answer the power of the holy ghost oh lord the power of the holy ghost Lord, the Lord will answer you. The Lord will answer us, all of us. He will answer. God will answer. Receive the Holy Ghost. God will pour the Holy Ghost on you. God will give you the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Receive. Receive. Receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Receive. Receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost. The gifts 
lips of the Holy Power of the Holy Ghost. Ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Ye shall be witnesses unto me in, Jer in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the ultimate part of the earth. Receive, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive, receive by the power of God, Jesus. Pour down the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Pour down the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Baptize your people. Baptize your people. Jesus. Baptize your people. Jesus. Baptize your people with the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Baptize your people. Baptize your people. Baptize your people. Baptize your people. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Baptize. 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 Jesus, baptize them, baptize them, baptize them, anoint them, anoint them, Jesus, Jesus, qualify them, qualify them, qualify them, Jesus, let them speak in tongues, let them speak in tongues, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, anoint them, Jesus, baptize them, Jesus, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost by the power of God, by the power of God, speaking tongues, speaking tongues by the Holy Ghost as the Spirit gives the utterance, the power of the Lord, descend, 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 descend on your people, descend on your people, descend on your people. Jesus, let the power of the Holy Ghost come on them. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come on them. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost come upon them. Feel them, feel them, feel them, feel them. Fill them, fill them with the Holy Ghost. Fill them, oh my God, fill them with the Holy Ghost. Fill them, fill them, fill them. Oh Lord, thank you. Man and woman, fill them, oh Lord. Young and old, children of God, ministers of the gospel, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive yet the Holy Ghost. Receive yet the Holy Ghost. Receive yet the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Yes, shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. By the name of Jesus. Receive the power. In the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. The Lord poured down the gifts of the Holy Ghost, gifts of healing, gifts of miracle, gifts of prophecy. The Lord poured them down. The gifts of the Holy Ghost. Receive in your life. Receive in your ministry. Receive. Go and function for Jesus. Go and function for Jesus. Ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. Receive the 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 power of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost.
breast cancer in Jesus name we pray you have received in Jesus name we pray hallelujah my life shall be a testimony 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 oh yes my life shall be a testimony amen Glory of the Lord. You will go and testify. Amen. Hallelujah. It is like that. It shall be so. Your life shall be a testimony, testimony, amen, testimony, oh yes, your life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the Lord, of the Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. It shall be done. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3900. Zero eight zero five six eight three four three two three. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail dot com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe.